All right, we're going to insulate the hive top feeder. Two inch insulation. And please don't do it this way. It's very dangerous. You could cut your fingers off. Make sure you stick that guard back in that you took out. And make sure you unplug it before you even take this thing apart. Much easier. Much safer. With that little guard, it keeps it from back kicking. No need to measure. Just kind of use the existing stuff, prop it on there, and we'll figure out how long it should be. Once you got one, you do it again. You're going to need one for all four sides. And they're almost identical in length, but not quite. I'm going to use a little duct tape to hold things together while we're trying to assemble things. Now we're going to use this sheet vinyl aluminum and we're going to mark it out, cut some notches and so we can get this thing to fit around that wood box. It's going to overlap about two and five eighths on each side and it's about three and a half inches high. We're going to wrap this around that, looks like a coffee cup type two inch insulation. We're going to use some rivets to try and hold this in place. And then we're going to get some of them stainless steel staples. That way they don't rust. And we're going to secure that right to the existing frame. Holds everything in place. Just for fun, we're going to add some green food coloring to all our sugar water. Just curious, are the bees going to have that stuff left over and I'm going to get it into my honey? We shall see. I'll tell you in the future. We're going to smoke them down, remove the temporary cover. We're going to use some foam insulation around the edges. We're going to seal in all those extra gaps. And hopefully it'll help separate the boxes later on so the propolis doesn't stick so bad. Putting the hive top feeder back, getting rid of those stray bees. We're going to use some coral to try and keep the humidity trapped into that box and so it doesn't get to the lid. And here you can see the foam, nice tight gaps. You can compare this is on the right hand side and on the left hand side you can see what it used to look like. Like and subscribe Galloway Lights.